who we got for the last person? Smoothman, who else? I mean, this guy is pretty widely considered the number one player in the game right now, so I don't think anybody's going to be surprised to see him in the end game. Playing zone, seeing what he can do in the gas. Ram nine, ran seven. It's a meta right now. Oh, ooh, he knows where he is. Beams. Ooh, and by the way, he's playing. I don't think he's on controller. The crazy thing about him is he plays both controller and touch, but he beams him. Maybe he was on controller. I don't know. That was nasty. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Spectates has finally made his way to Warzone Mobile. Obviously, this is a series that was largely inspired from Tim the Tag Man spectating on Warzone, which started back in Verdansk. So it does very much feel like we've come full circle, and today we are spectating the number one player in the game. Obviously, there's no rank mode or leaderboards for the time being, but there are a lot of players that have been playing scrims for the past couple of months, and every single one of them will tell you that this guy, Smoothman, both on touch and on controller, is the best in the game. I'll be sure to link his channel down in the description, but we'll go ahead and hop into it. Oh my god, I finally get to spectate Smoothman. You'll love to see it. What do we got? Uh, HRM Ram 7? That was kind of my assumption for 95% of the players in the game. Like I said before, widely considered to be the number one Warzone mobile player, arguably on both touch and on controller. I know that he has said... Uh, that he has fully made the switch to touch since kind of the assumption is that if there are Warzone mobile tournaments that they'll probably be... Oh, he actually... Is that a CX-9? I think that's a CX-9 and MTZ Interceptor. I don't know if he's trying somebody else's loadout. I think that may be the same Interceptor as the other guy that we spectated, or maybe this is just the go-to blueprint because obviously it's got tracers and stuff that make it look really cool. Curious to see what he can do with it. Seven kills already. Still 28 people alive. Oh my, you're egoing? Oh, you're a psycho. Oh, cluster mines. There are a few things in Warzone Mobile that are more tilting than cluster mines. Because it's not just one that hits you. You just, like, if you keep running, they just keep on hitting you. And it's usually not enough to like actually kill you. Are we just going for wall banks right here? What is happening? Uh-oh, oh no. Oh, both teammates down. Oh, uh, one down right there. That is a slow freaking rate of fire. Oh, Sleepy's not dead yet. Okay. Well, he gets back up. I'm surprised they. There's like a shocking amount of self reses that people let you get off. I'm very surprised that we're seeing the CX9. I have not seen anyone recommend running CX9. So, interesting move. A little stun check right there. Oh, buddy, this is not a good spot to be. Any plates? Any plates, any plates, any plates, any plates. They have to push these guys. Wait, are the guys gone? Oh my gosh, free self res. What in the world? How did they give that up? I guess he knocked somebody and did get that kill with the, the MTZ. Oh, that's a sniper. Oh my god. We, he just full jumping into a window right there is so ballsy. He just broke somebody like that? Oh my gosh. That is insane. Obviously, so the one thing you do have to take into consideration, part of the reason I'm assuming that these guys are running the Interceptor, is whenever you get a hit marker on somebody, it shows above their head, regardless of whether or not they're behind a wall, if they have armor, if you've broken their armor, whatever it is. They're going to be able to buy their team back right here. So Rose is back in the game. you got three players now. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, just because of the way that information works whenever the the icon pops up on whether or not somebody has plates makes it that much more op to wall bang with something like that because obviously that's not even something we can see in the spectator client like you don't see who gets knocked who gets killed and you also don't see ooh, a little hop up plate oh come on come on come on come on please do it oh we're stimming instead okay no way oh my did he knock him there's no way did he knock that guy? Oh my god, teammate dead again. Guys, what are we doing? No way we're making this. Oh my gosh. This could actually work. Uh-oh. Well, that vehicle is the last thing you want to see. Mm, this is definition of an ego play right here. Ooh. Safe in the building. What are you... 
What are you doing? Can you get pings through walls? There's no way. I think he's trying to live ping through the wall. Ooh, the slow play to catch him off guard. Did they already rotate? Uh, I guess so. Oh, he got sniped! I think he can get in here and self-res. And he should be able to do it. Oh my god, they don't look in! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! They look in! Uh-oh, he's dead. He's dead. There's no way. There's no freaking way! How does he win that? That doesn't make any sense. That literally makes less than zero sense. There is... I... What am I watching? How is that possible? He was zero HP off of a self-res. That was one of the most ridiculous plays I've ever seen. What the actual frick? Uh-oh. No! No! It's gonna get shot by a random dude spraying the, the vehicle! That should have gotten at least one knock, right? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what am I watching? This is insane. This is insane. Oh my gosh, this kid is... Oh my, it's just not even fair. One more! Trade! Rose! Trade! 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 Rose, what are we doing? Rose, you're killing me. That, surely you got the trade, right? Oh my god, he's still in this gunfight. Rose! Rose, all that for nothing! Oh, pain and suffering. Oh, I'm beyond tilted if I'm him. I don't... I, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't see how many kills Rose had. Don't tell me it was zero, though. I saw that zero at the top of the screen, but I assumed it was for the next person we were going to spectate, but this guy's got five. Bro, if I was doing all that just for my teammate to get zero kills, obviously, like, the guy's still better than me. So, I'm not saying that I'm better, but, oh, man. To do all that work, still go out in fifth. That's tough. So what do we got here? Ram 7. No surprises. What's the secondary? Got a nice high ground position. I think they should still be in zone whenever it finishes closing as well. Oh, this is prime. You should have eyes on pretty much every possible area. Oh, yeah. He saw him. Little thermite play? No way. Double thermites? Come on, hit. Oh, not far enough. Dang, that could have been insane. I wonder why it is that thermites are able to be thrown so much further than any other lethal not just in cod mobile but also in warzone mobile i wonder what the reason for that is Ooh, smokes for cover they get the damage that's the that's the thing smokes can only do so much if somebody gets that first hit marker because once they do they know exactly where you are they get the knock on rotation and they should still be able to hold high ground oh yeah this has got to be a guaranteed win you got two people alive it's a 2v1v1 did he pick up the MTZ 762 or is it the semi auto MTZ? The interceptor, I think. I don't know if it's the interceptor. I'm 99% sure that it is. Did they try to info check or they just waited out? I, you can pretty much wait it out because you're still in zone in this position. They played this really well. There it is. Seems like a lot of people suicide their way out, which I think is, it should be penalized. Anyone else feel that way? Feels like an L move to me. Not a fan. Not a fan at all.